Well, this frozen image on the ultrasound screen is that of a 65 years old female uh, referred for the uh, mass start in the region of the right hypochondrium with itching, swear itching and jaundice. Uh, I've frozen this image intentionally to show you what I got is uh, a bit of a complete, almost full of the summary is there in this uh, frozen image. Now on the left side of the screen what you are seeing is intrahepatic bile duct. This is this tubular structure is the intrahepatic bile duct and it continues uh, and this area is the extrahepatic common bile duct. Now, you see, then you see this is the liver, liver is normal, outer surface is smooth. Uh, here again you are seeing the liver, it is uh, an excellent window, making an excellent window to visualize the common bile duct and the related area. Another aspect that you are seeing in this view is the dilated bile ducts. Here are the dilated bile ducts. Uh, because of the dilation of the common bile duct and why the common bile duct is dilated is because of an approximately uh, 25 by 30 mm mass, a solid mass with no vascularity at all with and with central anechoic area that measures approximately 10 by 10 mm is rounded and this mass is also almost around it uh, and it is at the head of the pancreas uh, in longitudinal section as you are seeing. The length of the common bile duct is of importance for the surgeon as uh, it becomes easy for him to uh, decide the surgical uh, interventional technique that uh, he would like to follow. Now the length is approximately uh, 11.1 centimeter, whereas anterior posterior, whereas the width is 13 millimeter. At places, it's more than that. But anyways, we will take 13 millimeter as a norm, uh, as the uh, uh, width of the common bile duct. Normal should not exceed more than uh, seven millimeters with intact call bladder. So this is almost a summary of uh, the filing. And you see there are echoes within the common bile duct. The common bile duct is not free of echoes. It should have been as black as this region, or at least this as black as these uh, ducts are. But this uh, common bile duct does contain low-level echoes and is filled with it. So, uh, a uh, mass at the region of the head of the pancreas, avascular which is uh, cystic in the center and echogenic uh, rim around it measuring approximately 25 by 30 mm this one and then the dilated common bile duct up to uh, 13 millimeter and 11 centimeter in length with dilated common bile ducts uh, intra intrahepatic common bile ducts are dilated in this uh, particular patient and now let's see, let me show you on the, now here you see this is the mass and when I give a sweep to the probe you will see it, will, it does not change its shape. Now this is the pancreas, this is the pancreas, this is the duct which is not dilated, this is the splenic vein, this is the spirum mesenteric vein, this is the superior mesenteric artery, this is the aorta, and uh, this is the um, cystic area, central cystic area of the mass relating to the pancreatic head region. See that this is the pancreatic head, this region, this black tinea structure is dead. The pancreas is otherwise normal, there is no evidence of pancreatitis. And uh, so this mass, now, when I give a sweep to the probe, now I am in transfer section, giving a sweep to the probe in a longitudinal section, I see it communicating with a tubular structure, this one. This tubular structure is in fact 
the dilated common bile duct, this is a mass getting to the head of the pancreas, this is the liver, these are the dilated bile ducts and what we see here now this mass that is relating to the head of the pancreas is by itself not vascular. I am trying to bring it in the center of the ultrasound machine. Here we are. You see that uh, this area, this one, this is the mass, internal cystic area, and no vascularity. These are adjacent vessels though. If you see in this direction, you will see that this is the, uh, again, the mass in longitudinal section relating to the head of the pancreas, central cystic area. This is the inferior vena cava in longitudinal section. This is the superior mesenteric vein bounding its uh, uh, boundaries. So the mass by itself is non-muscular. Now here I am going to show you the dilation of the bile duct in parasitic bile duct. See, they are dilated at all levels and they run to the periphery of the liver. Periphery of the liver. It goes to the periphery of the liver. They are tortuous and uh, excuse me. And you will see again dilation of the bile duct. Now concentrating on this area, you see this is the portal vein in longitudinal section and this is the common bile duct. As we know, it runs anterior to the portal vein and it will not take blood and it measures approximately 12.6 millimeters and is dilated, should not exceed more than 7. What else? There is one more finding of uh, interest. See, this is the gallbladder in longitudinal section. See, this is the gallbladder in longitudinal section, layered out sludge is seen throughout into the neck. This is the fold, and this is the CBD, this is the wing. So, this is the longitudinal section. Now, let's see if, uh, its measurement in transfer section. It gives fluid fluid level and its measurement in transfer section is approximately 5.1, 5.2 centimeters and in transfer section the uh, maximum dimension, uh, acceptable normal dimension is up to 5 centimeters, this is 5.2, so the gallbladder is distended with uh, no wall thickness, no mass, no calculus. However, this is the sludge that is seen and making a fluid fluid level. So the, the gallbladder is distended. Now there is, this is painless. Patient has no pain in this region. Provide this sign. Distended gallbladder. Dilated by the dilated CBD as well. Intrahepatic, extrahepatic common bile ducts are dilated. This is the hepatic artery. Okay. Then now this is the mass relating to the head of the pancreas. Extra hepatic common bile duct is dilated. This is the transfer section showing you the mass with uh, uh, no dilation of the common bile duct, uh, so, uh, sorry, uh, pancreatic duct, and the mass is here vascular. 
there is uh, no adenopathy. Imagine there are no second as the star rope support. So this is uh, our case of the day, thank you very much.